Hi everybody, welcome back to Tailor Toned. Today I have a 30 minute follow along bar and pilates workout. This one is sure to get you shaking and burning. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new workout. Also check out my Instagram, it is at Taylor Toned. You won't be needing any equipment today, but I would recommend that you do have a mat or something to protect your knees. I'm ready, are you ready? Let's get straight into it. Send your hands in towards a prayer position. Now roll the shoulders backwards and down, feet underneath the hips, you're gonna take a balance, lift those heels off the floor, put on the highest pair of heels you own and grow the crown of the head towards the ceiling for three, two, one. Lower the heels, you're gonna squat to the side, so we go, squat down, relevate the toe, squat, relevate the toe, go down, then lift. If that's a little bit too tough for you, just take a squat and tap, squat, then tap. If you're in that advanced one with me, drawing that toe right up towards your knee, we go squat down. Now stick the hips backwards, knees over the top of your middle toe, then lift. We go for a squat, then up. You have four, lift, three, keep pushing those hands together, let's walk those legs, two, lift, one, lift, feet together, other side, we go, drop, up. So we're elevating that toe up, press those palms together now, open through the heart. Be proud of your workout with me today. Let's start to get the heart rate up. Let's start to get the blood pumping around the body. Let's get that heart working. We go down, then lift. Deep into that squat, go drop. Relevate, you've got four, then lift. You've got three, then we're gonna take a roll down into a plank, lift. One more, go drop, lift. Head towards the back of your mat. You're gonna roll down, chin to your chest. Get some movement through the spine. Walking out in towards either a full plank or a modified version here. To the toes under. Walk in, you've got four of these in total. Chin to chest and roll it down. And walk it out in towards a plank. So this is where your Pilates inspiration, influence comes in. I want you to mobilize the spine. Get control of every single vertebrae. Got 22 vertebrae in the back. I want you to mobilize every single one of them. And roll it up. One more, hold it. Roll down, now walking towards the plank. Now you're gonna hands under the shoulders, feet backwards. I want you to touch your inner thighs together. Now pull the belly button away from the floor. Inhale the breath in. As you exhale, pull up through the pelvic floor. Pull the belly button in, engage your core. You're gonna lower down to those forearms in seven, in six, lower down in five, in four. You've got this three, two, one. Now lower down to the forearms. You might need to shimmy those feet backwards. You're gonna rotate side planks, left fingertips to right elbow, and you're gonna roll into a side plank. Keep this arm nice and high. Now you're gonna bring the hand down to the floor for two, squeeze up, lift. Tap to the floor for two, Push up, lift. If you can't quite get this in a side plank modification, don't worry, just lower the underneath knee down towards the floor and push those hips high. I want you to double check now, are your hips stacked? Have you got headlights on your hips are both pointing forward? Are your shoulders stacked? Developing shoulder stability, trimming down the side of your body, working your adductor muscles. We go down, squeeze and lift. One more, tap down. Now up, you're gonna roll around through the center. Whoo, I'm burning. Don't know about you, but I'm already burning. You've got one straight line, crown of the head, down towards your heels. You're gonna go ahead, tap your left knee, then lift. We tap your right knee, then lift. So knee goes to the floor and then comes away. Now don't put too much weight in towards the knee. Keep the abs, the core nice and strong. Go tap, shoulders over the top of your elbows here. You've got three and lift. You've got two and lift. One, other side of plank. Right fingertips, left elbow. You're gonna roll it around, reach the hand high. Remember your modification, underneath knee bends, but still the hip pushes towards the sky. The hand, it goes down to the floor for two and reaches towards the sky. Now really get the fingertips as high as you can. Get the hips as high as you can. Let's trim down the waistline. Let's transform your waist today. With me on Taylor Tone, drop and drop. We go, lift the arm up, 
two more go tap down to the floor if those hips are starting to drop get them back up one more Ooh. go lift and lift now roll through the center back on towards your forearms now both the knees here go tap tap they lift they go down to the floor for two and then tap tap lift tap tap freeze imagine you're playing a game of musical statues and then the up hold stillness tap tap then freeze you've got it four then lift just go three and lift you have just two lift last one now hold it just give me eight seven pull the abs in you've got six so much sink into that shoulder girdle five four it burns three two one child's pose toes together open through the knees push the hips backwards inhale in and then exhale away you're gonna roll through the spine bring the hands behind the back interlace the fingertips press the chest forward if you can lift those hands up pectoral stretch drop the hands onto your thighs give me three circles of the shoulders one that's two go ahead take a third now you're gonna come on towards your sit bones I'm gonna go this way so I can see my timer we're gonna go into some arm work here so let's work the arms fingertips they draw towards your heels lift the hips away from the floor get those hips off now modification of this keep the hip bones down to the floor you're gonna take a bend a press bend for one lift for one so fingertips must be pointing forwards I see it so much in my classes this weird thing or this oh no you're gonna bring fingertips towards your heels go bend big push we go big bend big push now take that back bend as deep as you can make it juicy all the way down to the floor oh no here start to come the, the puns and the um the weird things that i say when i start to burn <laughs> go bend and push go bend go press you've got three and lift just go two and lift now last one you're going to extend through those arms now shine the heart high i want you to bend through the elbows hold the bend now shoot your left toe to the sky lower the leg down squeeze up we go low the leg down keep the bend through the elbow push up i know two more if you want the modification just hold still and let's drop the leg down to the floor one more we go lower down lift up now pop the foot to the floor straight through those arms i know open through the chest don't sink into the shoulders bend the elbows shoot the other leg to the sky we go lower down squeeze it lift we go lower down the leg take a bend through the elbows the deepest bend you can if you think i'm chickening out and you can do better go ahead prove me wrong take a deep bend through the elbows all it's going to do is burn more and transform your arms more now lower the leg down towards the floor oh, extend those arms fingertips forwards we take a bend a push push bend press you've got two to the hold oh my gosh one push now you're gonna go ahead inhale i'm shaking so much exhale bend the elbows miniature presses down and bend and bend you've got ten nine eight more here seven more bend six bend the elbows five four three two one that burns so much you're gonna go ahead roll yourself on towards your front in towards your back extensions another pilates influence here so i want you to go ahead lower down towards the chest my arms are still burning you're going to shoot the hands over the top of the head into a fifth lengthen through the body now turn out through the hips inhale exhale you're going to flow everything away from the floor and lower back down towards the floor so you want about 16 degrees of movement range of movement away from the floor that's all it is it's not much inhale exhale lengthen your body then lift it away from the floor and lower down you've got it lift up lengthen and lower down towards the floor back work bum work keep those knees lengthened keep the toes pointed so you're working upper back lower back and butt right now posterior chain work and lower back down you've got this just go two more here low back down now last one you're gonna lift it and hold now reach the fingertips backwards fingertips towards your toes you're going to start to swim to the legs we go kick and kick so the legs are changing off position i'll just reiterate here 
Your knee joints are straight, your toes are pointed, your legs are floated away from the floor. Head, neck, shoulders are off the floor and low body's off the floor here too. Pull the abdominals away from the floor. We go change and change now up the tempo. We go kick, kick, kick. Whew. Nice deep breaths. You had just six and five. Hold in four, in three. Stillness in two, in one. Now stay there, reach those hands forward. And we're gonna take little lifts. Up of the arms, oh my gosh, and of the legs. So the arms are in a ballet fist position and you're pulsing the arms and the legs away from the floor. Go lift, 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 lift. Nice deep breaths here, lengthen. Squeeze the butt together, get the back working, the back burning. You have a final, just go 10. And nine, it burns. Eight, seven, six, five, four. And you've got three, two, one. Hands come around the shoulders, well done. You're gonna push it up in towards a little tabletop position. Inhale, scoop the abdominals out. Eye line comes from your belly button. And exhale, push the chest down, lift the eye line up. You're gonna lift up in towards a kneeling position, toes together, open through the knees. You're gonna clasp the hands together, grab something, and you're gonna go ahead, drop the hips down, lift, go down, lift up. One of my favorite exercises, you're coming in towards a thigh section with a stretch right now. So we're gonna burn out the front of the thighs, we're gonna lengthen and tone the thighs. We go, I'll try to do that. I can't promise, disclaimer, my workouts will do that, but I'll try to do that with you. Go lift and down. The toes are touching, the knees are open in a V position. The abdominals are pulled in. The chest is open. We go up and down. You've got four, then drop. Three more here. Two more here. Last one, now lower the hips so they come about two inches away from your heels. Take little miniature tucks of your pelvis. Tip the hips under. So we go tuck, tuck. Rock those hips under. So this section is three minutes long. It's the side dancing and it's some stretching. Tuck the hips, tuck. Now get those he hips lower to your heels and really rotate that pelvis under. Your thighs should be on fire right now. If they're not, incline backwards. Make sure you're tucking the hips. Make sure you've got the hips down to your heels. You've got six and five down dog. In four, in three, two, one. Bring it forward onto your hands. Tuck your toes under, down dog. Press the heels to the floor with an inhale. Exhale, hold. And then from here, step in your left foot into the center line of the body, three-legged dog. You're gonna point through the right toe, open through the hip, and come in towards a three-legged dog. Open that hip flexor towards me right now. And then you're gonna go ahead, drop the foot down towards the floor, drive the heels in. And then other side, left toe points. You're gonna open through the hip. Lengthen, push in towards the hands, ground the hands in towards your mat, and then lower the foot down towards the floor, back in towards a down dog. I want you to walk the hands in towards your feet. Inhale in, exhale, let the head drop down towards the floor. Give your head a little nod, yes, and a little shake off now. And then you're gonna roll all the way down on towards your knees. I want you to lift, on towards your heels, bring your left hand across the chest for a quick arm stretch. I'm gonna do this to the front actually, It'll be easier. Bring the hand across the chest, roll the shoulder blade down, inhale, and exhale. You're gonna switch it up now, bring the other arm across the chest, roll it down, inhale, exhale. Now bring this hand down towards the floor, take a side lean, we're gonna get straight back in towards your workout in a little second. Bring this hand down towards the floor, Sweep over the top of the head. This hand stays grounded. Flip it around into an all fours position. We're gonna go booty work. You're gonna squeeze your left heel to left glute and you're gonna push the leg towards the sky. Now hold this position. New exercise today. Heel into your butt, hips are square to the floor. You're gonna lengthen this leg behind, push back on that thigh and then squeeze, close leg down. So we go lift, lengthen, in, down. If you want to take it a little bit slower to try and get your head around it at first, you can do. But you're taking thigh work on the underneath leg and you're also taking some butt work on the top of your booty of the active leg. It's going to be a really good seat set today. Went to a class last night 
I've been doing a lot of market research, you could say lately. Attending people's classes, taking ideas, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, and then putting them into my workout so you'll all to enjoy. So it's like you're taking 20 people's classes just in this one. Oh, here you go, up, extend, in. Now squeeze it up towards the sky. You're gonna lengthen back, squeeze it in. So you wanna push through the thigh lengthen, in again. So don't ever rest. You wanna keep that leg active. Drive through the underneath thigh, squeeze it. Two more here. Squeeze it in, one more. Push lengthen, now squeeze it in. Keep the heel nice and tight. We go, little lift, little lift little lift so we're going back in towards that bar influence here those tiny tiny movements squeezing the toe up towards the sky but you've also got that Pilates influence here because this exercise is also Pilates I'm just trying to focus right now because it's really burning <laughs> you've got four three two one now you're gonna bring it in side in then lift in side in Lift. So you're going fire hydrant with a donkey kick, as they would say in the gym world. <laughs> fire hydrant, close, push up towards the sky. Now keep the knee hovering away from the floor as you close and you lift, never break. Keep that knee active and lifted. We go up, in, to the side, and down. Now just go side, close, just go side, and in. So you're also getting in towards those obliques by doing this, close option here if you want it a little bit more advanced you can always take a little kick so kick in kick in or just go back in towards that original option by hydrant inhale oh my gosh exhale so important to keep breathing right now if you can't get a straight knee don't worry just take it to your range of motion try and lengthen that hamstring my classes are all about stretching as well as toning as well as getting the heart rate high. Press, in, press, in. You've got it, lengthen, squeeze. Three, in, two, in, don't give in. Last one, now draw the leg towards the sky. Bend it, draw it towards the sky. Little tiny, miniature, raise it, raise it, raise it. Oh, 10, nine, keep that up strong, seven, don't sink in towards the squatting hip. Five, four, three, two, one. That burned right. Flip it round. Other side. Hands under the shoulders. Give those wrists a quick roll out if you want to. You're going to squeeze leg towards the sky. You're going to lengthen, push back into the thigh. Squeeze it in again. Close it down. Let's go on the beat. Up, lengthen out. In, together. Up, lengthen out. In, together. Up, lengthen out let's do this nice deep breaths as it starts to burn as it starts to shake remember why you're here to get around boom to burn to shake you switched me on because you wanted a really good workout you wanted to burn you saw the name bar and party you thought yes Gabby I am with you today thanks for joining me up extend in one more up extend in now hold it there you're gonna extend back and point the toe. Extend, push, squeeze it in for two. Push for two, in for two. Now use the breath. In again. I was in a gym class this morning and I was next to this girl. I swear to God she held, I shouldn't say that, sorry. I swear she held, she held her breath the whole time she was in the class. And I was like, she's gonna pass out in a minute, surely. She was like lifting a five kilogram weight in abs, I was like, you're gonna pass out. Remember to breathe, it makes it easier. Provide your body with oxygen, it needs it, trust me. Two more, go lengthen, for two, we squeeze it in, and in, one more, and squeeze it in. Now option here, if your wrists are feeling it, mine are right now, you can always bring it down here, on towards the forearms. Keep that leg lifted, don't drop out, in, and to the side, but on the tempo, to make it harder. We go in. We can get through this booty section together. In, drop, side. Let's work the waistline. This one is great as well for activating the obliques. 
trimmed down the waistline because you're taking a high fire hydrant move. Can't think about anything right now other than the bird. Side, close. When you go lift, drop, side, close, lift, drop, side, in, inhale, exhale. Two more. We go side. One more. Up. Then we're not done. Sorry. Side. Now we go side. Close. Fire hydrant. Now keep the island in front of your fingertips. Keep a nice long spine. Options to take a kick in. Kick in. Inhale. Exhale. We're in it together. We've got it. Modification just here. Bringing that leg to the side. We go kick. Give me two more. Kick. In one more. Kick. In now draw the leg, leg up towards the side of yourself. We can do it. A little miniature. Press the high the leg goes, the harder it is. Squeeze the side of the thigh up to the ceiling. Draw that abs in. You just have 10, 9, 8 more. Then the butt is over. 6 and 5 and 4. Let's go for 3, 2, 1. Let's just digest how much that burned. And then flip it onto your back, straight into your abs. You're gonna lower down. No rest of the wicked. You're gonna lower down on towards your back. Bring your hands around the side of your hips. You're gonna lift your left leg into a tabletop. Pilates influence again, tabletop. And the other knee goes over the top. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. Pull the belly button down to the spine. And now imprint the spine. The lumbar spine goes onto your mat, onto your carpet, wherever you are. Now you shouldn't be able to see your toes. If you're doing this and you can see your toes, get your toes in line with the knees and imagine you're balancing your legs on the top of a table and you've got your butt right on the table legs so you're in a 90 degree angle. Now you're going to reach the hands over the top of the head into a fifth position here. Now you're going to go ahead, sweep your left arm back and then up again. Other arm, sweep it back lift it up. I want everyone right now to think about pushing their lumbar spine in towards the mat or the carpet or the floor, wherever you are. I want you to really ground the spine. Imagine your mat is like plasticine and you're trying to leave an imprint of your spinal column. We go, bring the arm back, squeeze the arm in, bring the arm back. Now option, challenge the brain, lengthen, same arm's leg, bring it in. This will really require your core. Now the lower that leg goes, the harder it's gonna get, but I just want it on the diagonal. I don't want it down to the floor, I just want it on the diagonal. If you can't quite get this option, don't panic. Just keep the legs still and activate through the arms. Or maybe the arms is too much, just do the legs. In, pick your option, stick with it. Let's then go in, and in we go, lengthen. Now zip up through the waistline. Imagine you have a belt on, and the belt is drawn all the way up, really tight. Pull up through the pelvic floor, pull the navel in. When I say pull up through the pelvic floor, imagine you need the toilet. Pull up, lengthen, lengthen, in, and in. Two more, lengthen, lengthen, squeeze it in, and in. One more, no, lengthen, lengthen. Now hold here, get ready. Option, option one, shoot the hands back, legs back. Option two, you're gonna stay, just the arms or the legs. Inhale, exhale. So option one is here and hold. Option two is here, option three is here. Pick your option, find your challenge, and you have stillness. Option two, lift the arms. How many times can you say option in 10 seconds? Lift the arms. Let's go for seven, for six more pushes. Five, four, press the spine into the floor. Two, one. Ooh. Knees in towards the chest. Okay, bring the hands down towards the floor. We're going into a revert, reverse crunch right now. I want you to lift the legs back off the floor, but this time it doesn't matter about that 90 degree angle. Your legs are on the diagonal. Push the palms in towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, rock the hips off. So that's all you're doing. Reverse crunch of the score. Lift the hips off. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips off. We've got two more minutes to go. Let's tone your waist. So you're pushing your toes up towards the sky. Now I want you to try and take your eye line onto your toes. Try not to let your toes move. Get the hips off, you'll get a deeper connection. Up and press. 
we go up and press if this is just too much for you go back into that tabletop position and just hold it for me switch on the abs if this is okay for you option let's make it a little bit harder this time we're gonna take reverse crunch load leg down back to the center reverse crunch low leg down back to the center like you're taking a bow and arrow low leg down center reverse crunch glide the leg down so every time you draw down it's like you're pulling back on a bow and arrow with the toe reverse crunch i know it burns lengthen out you don't have long left to go reverse crunch lengthen let's go three more here that core nice and tight remember it's your abs doing the work not your back two more lengthen one more I know you can lengthen now legs back into the center and you're gonna reach your hands all the way towards your toes and you're gonna push the palms down press to the floor and we are gonna hold here chin towards your chest get the head neck shoulders one inch away don't give up get higher little lift 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 okay everyone this is M we've got this close your eyes if you want to little reaches you've got ten nine more presses eight seven oh my gosh six five reach four like your life spends on it three two one oh well done draw the back down towards the floor draw the knees in towards your chest Hug your legs and appreciate how much that burned. Oh my golly, that was tough. Oh, there's a really good breeze that just went by. It feels so good. <sighs> Send the soles of the feet down towards the floor. Turn the palms up towards the sky today. And I just want you to listen to your own breath. Bring it, inhale in and then exhale away flip the palms up towards the sky like you're surrendering surrendering yourself inhale exhale in towards a hamstring stretch so the back of the leg is going to stretch now i want you to lengthen your left leg towards the sky if you can't straighten the knee don't panic just find a bend through the knee and then you're going to grab the underneath of your thigh. So you're not going to grab on the knee. It's either above the knee or below the knee, not on the knee. You're going to grab your hands underneath your thigh. Now, at this point, try to lengthen the leg out. Try to straighten out through the knee. You're going to give yourself a little roll through the ankle. Inhale, exhale. So you want to roll through the ankle, through the tarsals. And then stay here. If this is enough for you and you can feel the stretch here down the back of the leg, stay right there for me. If you want a deeper stretch right now, you can lengthen the other leg away from yourself. If you want a deeper stretch, you're gonna bring the hands on towards the calf and you're gonna bring your toe all the way towards your shoulders if you're trying to take a split. And just hold. Shaking erotically. <laughs> you're gonna bring the leg in, knees in towards the chest. Switch it up, other side, the left foot goes down towards the floor. The right leg lengthens all the way up towards the sky. Remember to try and lengthen through the back of the knee. Hands go underneath the thigh at this point. Gently guiding that leg in towards yourself. And then you're gonna take a roll through the ankle. So taking 360 degrees with the ankle joint. Roll around, roll around. And then if this is enough for you, stay here, hold the stretch. You want to be taking at least 10 seconds in each stretch. If you want a little bit deeper, lengthen the underneath leg. If you want a little bit deeper still, grab the hands on towards the calf and pull the toe closer in towards your shoulder. But if you're going out towards the side, that's not a true stretch, it's a hip flexor. So I want you to make sure you're driving your toe to the shoulder so you're going behind the leg at this point. And then bring the knees in towards the chest, hug yourself up in a ball. You're gonna rock side to side at this point. Now I always like to shine my knees towards my shoulders. Kind of like the birthing position. <laughs> Feels really, really good on the hip flexors. Sometimes I get really tight hip flexors. But if you wanna bring the inner thighs together, feel free if you don't feel comfortable doing this. And then you're gonna rock back 
Ooh, rock all the way up forward and then roll safely on towards your hands and your knees. And then from here, you're gonna bring your right hand under, gently, really, really gently, be mindful of the wrist. Push the wrist down towards the floor for a quick stretch. We did a lot of work on the wrist in that all four seat section. And then switch it up, other hand, inverts under, and push the heel of the hand down. Oh, the other side to the heel of the hand, should I say. My mat is really wet, by the way. <laughs> not nice, not a pretty sight. Popping the palm back down towards the floor. You're gonna send your hips down towards your heels. You're gonna take a big breath. Inhale, lift those hands nice and high towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hands back down towards your side. Glide the hands in front, tuck the toes under, and then you're gonna walk your hands towards your feet. No down dog today, just walk the hands towards the feet. Feet go underneath your hips. Doesn't matter how low you can get, don't worry. Just go as low as you possibly can, as long as you're stretching behind the back of the legs. Gently bend the left and the right knee. Left and the right knee, inhale, exhale. Allow the sit bones to drop down towards the floor. Gently and slowly roll all the way up through the spine. Really slowly unwinding through the spine with an inhale. And an exhale, bring your feet underneath your hips. You're gonna finish how you started. Bring your hands into the prayer, roll the shoulders down, pull the abdominals in. The toes are pointing forward. Find your balance, inhale, lift the heels. Try not to fall over from shaking. Exhale, lower the heels down. Take a soft and a bend through the knees. Give yourself a shoulder roll back, close the eyes at this point. Take a nice deep inhalation in. And exhale away. And be really grateful of what your body can achieve. And well done, everybody. Thanks for joining me in my 30 minute bar and Pilates workout. Hit subscribe and I'll see you all again next time for another workout. Bye.